Hi everyone, in this video I will show you a few methods to try and fix your Wi-Fi if it's showing no internet secured like this or if it's saying Wi-Fi connected but no internet access. So please follow the steps with me and let's get started. Go to search bar and type run. Open it up and type ncpa.cpl and then just hit enter network connection page will pop up in here and if you're using wi-fi so we since we're using wi-fi then we need to just right click on wi-fi and go to properties in here we need to select internet protocol version 4 and then just click on properties so once this screen pops up then you need to make sure you select the top option which says obtain an ip address automatically not selecting this button one says use the following ip address as if you have any IP addresses in here, that means you're telling the PC to run the internet on this IP address. So you don't want this one. You need to select the top one. In here, we need to select this option, which is use the following DNS server address. And then we need to set preferred DNS server to 8.8.8.8, which is Google DNS. And then for the alternative DNS server, we need to type 4.4. .4 8.8 .8. once you've done this then just click ok and restart your pc and give it a try if it still doesn't work then try the next method and next solution open up the command prompt so just go to search and type in there cmd and make sure to run it as administrator type this command in the command prompt sfc space forward slash scan now and then press enter If there are any bugs on your computer, this command will repair it. Next solution, go to your start menu and right click on your start menu. Then go to your device manager. Once you go to your device manager, look for network adapters. Double click on it, expand it and look for your Wi-Fi driver. If you see yellow triangle on the side, this means there is an issue with your Wi-Fi network card. So you need to right click on it and select update driver in here you need to select the second option browse my computer for drivers and then the next option will be let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer in here you can select your wi-fi driver once you found your wi-fi driver and you select it just click next and wait for it to get updated and once it's updated successfully, then check to see if your Wi-Fi is working fine. So if you have tried the previous method by updating your driver and still it didn't work, then go back to your device manager again by right clicking on the start menu and go to your device manager. So once we go to the device manager again, what we need to do is now we need to reinstall the Wi-Fi driver. As this can be caused by a corrupted Wi-Fi driver. So to check to see if this is what is causing the issue, we need to go to the network adapters again and select Wi-Fi driver and right click on it and click on uninstall device and then uninstall again. Wait for a few seconds till you get updated. Once it's reinstalled your Wi-Fi driver, you will see your Wi-Fi driver back in here again. If it doesn't appear, then you need to select this option here on the top and wait for a few seconds again. As you can see, the Wi-Fi driver is back on again. So try to see if your Wi-Fi is working now. So if this option still didn't work, then try the next option. Go to the search and in the search bar type CMD to bring up your command prompt. Right click on it and run as administrator. So once you open your commands prompt, then you need to type these commands one by one in here. You can access to these commands in the description. So I will copy the commands one by one and paste it in command prompt.
So now we need to restart the laptop to see if there is any lock. All these methods we have tried, one of them at least should resolve the problem. Thanks for watching. Hope this video was useful. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos.